I like to try to create environments because uh, actors work inside of a space, they don't work in front of it. And so they have to interact with that space one way or another. And you have to give them all the things that they need to be able to enter and exit a space, uh, do the business that they need to do. Uh, so you have to constantly be trying to solve uh, all, those, all those issues that the actors have in their interpretation. And so that texture, also help add to what it is that you're trying to achieve with some depth. Every play is different. It's just like a snowflake, you know, every play is different and it requires different things and you have to um, read the play, understand what's being said. Very few playwrights uh, put in a lot of notes in a play that tell you exactly where you are and the time of day and the time of year and the different things that are going on. Some, some playwrights do give you a lot of clues uh, early on in the script, but then you really have to dig and read and understand what it is that they're saying. Once you do that internal research, is what I call it, uh, uh, then you have to start doing some external research. Start uh, looking around at different uh, uh, pictures online, books, go to the library, uh, wherever you can find images that will reinforce what you think the interpretation of the play should be, and then um, uh, pull all that stuff together, and then go meet with a director. And a director is the head of a production team, and uh, they may have a particular concept or thought or metaphor that they want to uh, in wrap the show around. And so um, once you start having that collaboration with the director and the other designers, because they bring other things to the table, uh, you have to stop and figure out, okay, how can we meld all these things together? The, the collaboration process is really um, uh, a unique, fun, frustrating sometimes uh, experience. Uh, because the ultimate goal is to do the best production that you can do given the set of circumstances in the theater that you're working in at that point in time. And even if you work on the same play at different theaters at different times, the designs won't necessarily be the same. The process won't necessarily be the same. And so it's one of those things that you're doing in the moment right now. A good play not only has good acting and good directing, but it has a an environment that works for the play, like has a costume that works for a play, and it starts at 7.30 or 8 o'clock whenever the curtain goes up, and it goes to the end. And if it doesn't stop, and all the bits and pieces uh, work together and are appropriate for the play, then you've come up with a good piece of theater.